Hey traders, it's Danielle and welcome to the free video. So today I'm going to be talking about an area of the market that's moving. So I'm sure that you know by now that the solar ETF uh, in solar space have basically been flying, also the EV space as well. And it's absolutely fair to ask, well, if you're not already in it, are you way too late? Uh, it's possible. But I'm seeing this as a much larger move overall, and more importantly, a lot of these tickers also have high short interest, so that means when they make new highs, they might just keep on going. FSLR is one of my favorites right here. Uh, while yes, one can argue it has already made a $97 price point, and we had a pretty decent swing from um, September up into about November, this has pulled back and it's ready to go again. So you have this daily squeeze setting up right here. You have a really nice VZO volume breakout buy. And you also have a really clear target at your previous high. And then also at um, the full extension target of 100. So for this one, I had a couple different trades on. Right now, I'm using an 85, 95, 105 butterfly. I actually think I'm going to add another one because I think this one was a little bit uh, too long on this expiration series here, though it is saying that it has about a $9.50 move into December. So I did go ahead and add that butterfly on targeting the 100 or the 95 price point, but I'm interested to see if I can put another butterfly or two in the December 4th or December 11th series so that, um, you know, in case it gets there a little bit earlier. But I also like the long calls in that one. Another one that I like is going to be SISQ. So we have a daily squeeze. We have high short interest. We have an oversold volume buy signal. So I really like this. Um, I like the hold of the 50 simple. I like that nice green candle. So with this one, I'm actually just buying long calls and I'm targeting the $46 price point. Another one that I like here is Workhorse. So Workhorse has had a crazy move the past couple days. And, um, you know, I wouldn't want to buy the stock right here. But because there's high short interest in the stock and because it's already up 12%, typically what will happen on these is they'll gap up overnight. And, yeah, I mean, it already did gap up. So um, typically what will happen is that if it goes out on the highs of the day on high volume, then you can generally get a nice gap up the next day. So for this one, I'm just going to be watching it first thing in the morning to see if we get a 15 minute range breach higher. I did go ahead and put on a bullish butterfly targeting the 35 strike price. So I went ahead and did a 30, 35, 40 bullish butterfly. This is a small trade just for, uh, you know, low risk, high reward on the target and on this short squeeze breakout. So whenever I'm trading a short squeeze breakout, I'm going to use a lot less size. Um, then what I would use on a pullback buy, like I did on FSLR and Siskiyou. Overall right now, I've had pretty small size on as of late. Um, I just feel like the market is just... I feel like we're just bracing for a reckoning here just because it has been so strong for so long. And at this point, you know, we're hovering right below... Uh, previous all-time highs and we've been trading in a range for really the last week and a half so whenever that happens um, I definitely want to exercise just a little bit of caution because it could easily be the point where you know the market corrects all the way back down to 35 34 35 so small size but these are the tickers that are moving right here and right now so of course I'm going to trade them also, I wanted to let you know that Allison is going to be having a webinar tomorrow night about her turnkey trading plan. So if you want some more information, go to simplertrading.com, just scroll down, check it out. Um, and other than that, I will see you in the next one.